All right, welcome to this second video. So, Arch Linux B has been updated. We've uh, set the mirrors right, that's first thing. Then update, then PKS YUA. We saw a Linux kernel coming and we said, oh, Linux kernel, new guy, so let's boot up again. So, sudo reboot and this latest, very, very latest kernel, that's the line, is now working. The thing is, and that's also important and worth mentioning, we are working on Arch Linux B. It could have easily been, been an Arch Linux D version with the scripts from Deeping, because our workflow is, is, is in that way that we first develop an Arch Linux D version of any desktop environment, figure out what do we need, what packages, what Lego blocks, right, we need, and then later on we said, okay, that's the, the bunch of Lego blocks we need, and we are going to put that in an Arch Linux B package file and burn it. Now, the thing is, it's just about deliverance. How fast can you uh, deliver an operating system? Arch Linux B is much faster because it's an ISO, burn it on USB, it decompresses and you boot up and it's all there. Arch Linux D is a minimal ISO, base ISO, and then you install every script which gives you more flexibility, more readability also, and so decide to install that or not install that. But that can be done as well in packages, uh, both there on Arch Linux B. So basically it's just another way of to deliver software. But the thing is, all the videos that I'm gonna make are going to come on Arch Linux D website, okay? We restrict or we reserve the Arch Linux B website just for the building and, and uh, how to change things okay but once we talk about the desktop environment it's going to be either on Arch Linux XFC on box i3 or any desktop or the Arch Linux D where all the variants the difference in this case 12 desktops are on Arch Linux D plus Arch Linux of course so that out of the way um, what's next well the thing is, um, I would like to get more software in and uh, we're going to show you that in the next video.